Welcome back to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and it's time to take a look at the upcoming Switch releases this week, covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. Now as always I'm not covering everything here, rather those games that are catching my eye, so if I do miss anything that I should be checking out let me know in the comments down below. With that then like hit subscribe if you love the Switch, as much as we all do here, join our growing family and let's get started. So first up then a big title for myself that is Snow Runner, the first entry Mud Runner. It was not a game I anticipated enjoying. In fact, honestly, but going in I actually expected shovelware. Well, it was a nice surprise as it presents actually a more unusual vehicle simulation, which is not about you know going fast, but rather completing tasks and then overcoming some seriously treacherous like landscapes. I got addicted though, and I'm hoping this snowy sequel can do that same thing with its promise here of challenges. 40 unlockable vehicles and then solo or co-op play for up to 4 players. Arkea then, and no idea if I'm saying that right, but it's the latest rhythm game to join the Switch. It's not a cheap one either, which typically comes down to licensing costs because of the music you know they feature in these games. This one though is started on iOS and Android, and it had a whole lot of microtransactions that obviously this version removes, but back on iOS you would kind of pay to add more songs. This one though you can play touchscreen or with Joy-Con, it has a 60 chapter story mode, there's over 150 songs including those that are exclusive to the Switch, and then each track actually has three different difficulties options. It seems this one though it's held in high regard though and I'm looking forward to checking it out. Jetboard Joust then seems to be built for the retro fans out there or at least that's the case with the visuals. It's promising arcade style shmup action that's then blended in with roguelike mechanics. You jump on a jetboard though you face off against waves of enemies and of course boss moments and it seems it's not auto scrolling but rather free movement as enemies kind of surround you. I really really like the look of it though I just want to see how it now all comes together with the roguelike like side of things you know how does its like progression system work Sunless Sky's Sovereign Edition then is for the hardcore RPG fans out there it's a sequel to the ultra challenging Sunless Seas which I'm gonna be honest hard as hell game that one and there were many moments that I found myself completely lost and I nearly kind of walked away this one though it's future set it's the basically the Victorian Empire has now moved to the stars and you're going to command a flying train that you'll need to like use to explore the galaxy around you you're going to manage your crew you're going to choose missions you'll even duke it out in combat I can guarantee here expect a whole lot of gameplay for your cash but go in ready to be patient if it's anything like the original there's going to be a hell of a learning curve with it Aerial Knights Never Yield then is a side-scrolling auto runner set around the world of free running. Has a demo available on the eShop right now if you do want to check that out. I wasn't 100% sold honestly on its mechanics of kind of like different height jumps and slides. But I will check this out at release to see what else is in here because it's a passion project from the dev. And from his words on the eShop its story is basically designed to be eye-opening. So I'm hoping once you kind of put it all together it forms something special. Rise of the Slime then is another one I'm excited for. It has a demo also on the eShop to check out, but when I saw the dev's explanation, they basically linked it to Slay the Spire in style. At that point, I was immediately sold. It's also out on Steam already, and opinions I will say they are high of this one. A deck builder, roguelike though, you will be slime out to save the day, and this is all procedurally generated, meaning your path to success is always going to be changing. The only thing I will say though, looking into it, it seems the runtime is around three hours, so I'm hoping it gives us some good excuses and purpose for reruns. Tiger Trio's Tasty Travels then is a title that was actually featured in the last Direct but not in the West. This was kept to the Japanese Direct only. I have no idea what to expect honestly but I just like the look of it, you know, what the visual style it's going for. The idea, it's a puzzle game set around sushi service and it seems the orders they kind of pass down on these conveyor belts to customers and you need to fix up the order before it arrives with them. Looks super unique. I'm just, like, curious to see how opinions are with this one once it kind of drops but I'm hoping here for one of those hidden gems. Rising Hell then is a self-described heavy metal roguelike where the levels are vertical and you need to fight your way up and out of hell. Stunning pixel work this one, soundtrack is solid, controls really good and you can expect to see a review here on the channel probably in the next couple of days in the lead up to launch. It even has unlockable characters as well as multiple game modes to kind of keep you busy, you know, if there's a campaign and then challenges as well. Honestly, respect because it is just such a budget price point to start with, so I really like what they're going for. Layers of Fear 2 now then, and first up I will try to have coverage of this one on the channel, but you should know I'm useless when it comes to horror games frequently stopping and just kind of 
feeling the creepiness of it all from what i'm seeing with this one though it doesn't look like it's going to disappoint with the kind of slow burn scares in this one you are a hollywood actor aboard an ocean liner and it's basically time to explore what will no doubt quickly become a nightmare it's actually already dropped on other platforms already and that is to mostly positive reviews you can expect maybe a six or so hour trip with this one as well Metopia will no doubt be the big release for many this week and I'll be honest I know it started its life on the 3DS but I've never played it I'm not sure if it's gonna be one for me honestly it has a free demo though if you do want to check it out before you know you drop the cash it's always a good thing to see it is a premium price point as well so it doesn't hurt to kind of try it before you buy it if I had to label it though it looks to be an entry level almost RPG as you can go solo or with friends on an adventure to stop the face dealing lords then it's all complemented with combat cooking friendship building exploration and careers let me know in the comments if you've played this and how excited I should be our penultimate game of the week then wanna survive it's the latest release from the car list and they have some solid releases behind them so i will always sit up and take note this one though it's a turn-based tactical experience which i didn't expect and you're out to survive the zombie apocalypse visually it's okay i'm kind of getting a little burnt out on this style honestly at the moment but it sounds interesting kind of a rotating squad due to permadeath that's included resources multiple goals and then the music it comes from the guys behind the binding of isaac and the end is nigh and in my eyes that's probably going to be a winner of a soundtrack our final game of the week then that is knockout city from ea and i really enjoyed the beta of this one which i didn't actually expect i sunk a fair few hours into its kind of manic take on the dodgeball world though and it really worked with different power-ups and abilities to catch and dodge promising then three versus three four versus four or three for all i'm looking forward to seeing what it has to offer and hopefully it has enough with xp chasing and customization to keep me coming back and to keep the community engaged thankfully as well it's not only cross play but it also includes cross progression as well also it actually comes with what's called the block party trial meaning you'll get 10 days completely free to try it out and then you can decide if you want to part with that cash so that's the new games for the week and it's a big one i'm really impressed i'm looking forward to checking out a fair few of these and honestly it's only going to get bigger as we close out the month over on twitch though you can obviously check out a lot of these new titles as well curry will be streaming a fair few of them this week and it's all going to be basically starting with monday we'll be covering subnautica below zero tuesday is going to be snow runner wednesday is rising color thursday is layers of fear 2 and then friday we'll be playing knockout city so if you you know if anyone wants to team up with us absolutely jump in and join us that is it though for the week will you be adding anything to the library or are you holding onto that cash this could be a good week for pickups for many of you so let me know in the comments what you are picking up first if you are grabbing something without then a shout out to the patrons of the channel who are just going above and beyond to support switch corner it helps more than you know so thank you all so much if you do want to check that out for yourself i have linked it in the video description down below then hit subscribe if you love the switch as much as we all do here join our growing family and i'll see you all on the next video thanks everyone